Hello and welcome back to another episode of From Prison to the Streets. I'm Eric. I did 11 years in prison and I talk about prison stuff. Today we're not talking about prison stuff. We're just giving you guys another update on how I've been because I've been sick. My mom has cancer. So like and subscribe. Let's talk about it. I want to say for the past two months or so, I've had a really bad sinus infection. Um, my sinuses don't drain how they're supposed to. And so the infection spread across, you know, my face pretty much. My eyes were swollen. One was swollen shut. I had pus and blood coming out of my eye. It was a fantastic time. I've had a really high fever. I've been throwing up a lot more because of the sinus headaches than anything. Nothing's wrong with my stomach. I've just been pretty miserable for the past two or three weeks. I've been bedridden for the most part. However, I am on a better antibiotic now. They switched me over to Leviquin, I believe, or something like that. And they got me on some steroids that are supposed to bring down the inflammation and stuff like that. And I'm feeling a little bit better. So that's a good thing. And next week I have surgery. They're going to cut some bone out of my face. They're going to fix my nose because apparently I got punched in the face at some point or something. And my nose is real crooked. It doesn't look super crooked, does it? I don't think it does. But anyway, my nose is crooked. So that needs to be fixed. They're going to cut bone out of my face around my sinuses here and here and everywhere and scrape the infection out and call it a day. So that's going to be fun. I look forward to it. So that's what's been going on with me. Now, I want to update you guys on my mom because she has cancer. Uh, as far as I know, her prognosis is still the same. Back in July, they gave her a year to live because she has small cell lung cancer and it's extensive. After she got out of the hospital, she was staying with me for a while. And I was taking care of her, taking care of her meds and her appointments and stuff like that. By the way, thank you to everybody who donated money to help with my mom. I think we raised over $500 and it really helped out with gas and getting her to her appointments because Kansas City, KU Med is in Kansas City, which is an hour and a half, two hours for me. Long drive, all that started this summer when gas prices were through the roof. So that really helped out. I really appreciate you guys. All that said, she's not staying with me anymore and I'm not taking care of her anymore. She's staying with my sister. We had a bit of a falling out. I'm not going to say a whole lot about it because I don't like bashing people behind their back. I will say that she was being disrespectful to me and my wife and my brother and, and even the kids. She was being kind of mean to my kids. So I, I kind of talked to her about it a couple of times and there was no change. And it seemed like we were butting heads the entire time she was here. We have a history. Most of the time, we don't get along. We'll get along for like a month or so, and then we won't talk to each other for a year. Being that she's terminal, I I really would have liked to end things between me and my mom on good terms. It doesn't look like that's going to happen, though. You can try to reconcile with people, but that doesn't always work. I mean, that's just the way it is. We're not really talking and I'm not really talking to the rest of my family. Yeah, my sisters didn't do anything wrong per se, but I feel like there's always a lot of drama. There's always a lot of backbiting and a whole bunch of stress that I've quite frankly don't need in my life. And whenever I try to help someone connected to my family, it seems like it ends badly. I kind of feel like I stick my neck out for people and and I get shit on <laughs> and I don't like it. So I'm not talking to my sisters and I'm not talking to my mom. I'm, I'm about done with it. I tried to do my part and it turned out how it usually turns out. So that's the update. Now, after I get this surgery on my face next week, I will be back to making regular content. I don't have a studio right now because I changed my studio into a bedroom for my mom. And now I have to set up a, a new studio. That's why I'm recording this on my phone. And I don't have my mic because my lav mic, I think I just blew it out a few minutes ago. I've tried to shoot this video like three or four times just today. 
and my mic is blown out um which is a cheap little mic that's not a big deal but i want to apologize for the audio issues if there are any later on and that's why we're having these issues because my studio is not set up right now i'm not shooting this on my regular camera i'm not using my mixer my big mics no, none of that but hopefully i'll get all that set up and we'll be back to our regular prison related content thank you guys for watching i love you all i hope you're having a fantastic day always remember if you got something stressing you out or, or something like that in your life sometimes it's it's okay to just take a step back from all that and even if you're having a bad time try to maintain a positive attitude i've had a lot of things go bad this year and i could have a really really shitty attitude but it doesn't help me if i do so i'm gonna try to smile and keep working on stuff and keep making my life better because that's what we do right we can sit around and complain about all the shit that's going wrong or we can try to do something to make it better because if you're not doing something about the problem, by your negligence, you might be contributing to the problem. I'm not saying that's the case, but it might be the case. Some people are very content to sit around and bitch about everything, but they don't want to get up and, and do something about it or, or make a difference. You know what I'm saying? We've met those ones. Anyway. I love y'all. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'm Eric. This has been another episode of From Prison to the Streets. I will see you all later. Right. Right. Right.